In this video, we will learn how to create a basic template and how to send an envelope for signing within Nintex Assure Sign. These are the core functions of Nintex Assure Sign and will become a familiar process to you. From the Assure Sign homepage, click the View Templates, Simple Setup link found in the left panel of the screen. You will be brought to the templates page as indicated in the top of the screen. This is where you can select to use or edit an existing template. If you wish to view a template's general details or permissions, simply click a listed template. You can also import template, convert classic template, and create template. We want to create a new template, so we will click Create Template to begin. Enter your template name, an optional template description, and tags. Once you have completed this information, click Continue. This brings you to the template setup screen. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the template page layout. The center of the page is where you can drag and drop a document file, or click here to select and upload a document file. The top left panel of the screen has navigational icons that will take you to places such as your document manager or to upload file. The top right panel of the screen holds the Edit Envelope and Edit Sender Input commands. This is also where you can click to add signer. Let's bring in the NDA agreement that we wish to use. I will click here and will locate and select the NDA agreement document from my computer. Once the document has uploaded successfully, you will be asked if you wish to allow the documents to be replaced when this template is used. This means that if a document file is collected from the sender, it will replace the one you uploaded here and overlay the jot blocks over the one they uploaded instead. For this example, I will leave this enabled and click OK. We now have our non-disclosure agreement document sitting in our template. We are ready to add a signer to our document. Scroll down the document until you see the signer area. Then click the Add Signer button. You can customize the signer label or leave Signer 1 by default, then click Continue. We now see that we have a signer listed in the right side of the screen. You may edit a signer's details by clicking the ellipsis, located here. From the Edit Signer window, you can change the signer identifier, name, contact methods, email address, mobile phone number, the signer's signature style, and choose to allow signer delegation or not. Correct spelling and input of the email address and or mobile phone number is very important as this is where Assure Sign will be sending the signing request to the signer. You can also set the signer's authentication settings. This includes security options such as setting a signer password or enabling two-factor cell phone authentication. You can also set signer attachments. These would be file or image attachments that you would be requesting from the signer to include if needed. I will go ahead and complete my signer details and click Save Signer when finished. We will now create the sender inputs, which are variables or placeholders for information that need to be provided by the sender when the template is used. These inputs are also known as jot blocks. Some commonly used jot blocks include signature, date, and text. You may drag the jot block from the right panel of the screen and drop directly onto the document for placement. Our NDA agreement document has a signature, printed name, and date field. So, I will drag a signature jot block, a text jot block, and a date jot block onto the document. Now we can edit and perform additional setup for each jot block. This is done by clicking the gear icon, which is associated and visible with each selected jot block. For example, in the signature jot block, I can set common settings, which includes setting the signature as required, certified, or hidden. You can also enter custom instructions for your signer. You have the ability to make basic display adjustments. You also have the option of creating conditional logic settings for the signature, which is covered in another video. Once done editing the signature jot block, click Save Jot Block. Continue with editing and setting up the other jot blocks in order to complete this template setup. Once completed, click the blue close button found in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now I can see my template listed here on the templates page. To utilize this template to send an envelope to a signer, click the blue use button found next to the template name. You will be asked if you would like to use the saved template document, 
which is the NDA agreement that we imported earlier in this video, enter an optional signer password or enter an optional cell phone number for signer SMS authentication. Once set, click Continue. A sure sign is now ready to apply the template. You can click here to expand and view a detailed list of changes that will be made. Once ready, click Continue. From here, we can review and send our envelope. But first, let's check to make sure that the envelope will be sent to the correct email address for signing. Click the ellipsis on the signer button. Take a moment to confirm that the email address is correct and or phone number if using text message SMS and click Save Signer. We are ready to review and send. Click the blue Review and Send button found in the top right corner of the screen. We can give the envelope a name, enter an optional order number, choose to use default expiration date, set an optional download password, as well as set an optional redirect URL. You may also click here to add and save additional recipients to this envelope. To add non-signable addendums to the envelope, click here and you will be able to upload and save optional addendums. Once you have customized and reviewed your envelope, click the blue Send button located here. Once the envelope has been sent, you will receive this completion window confirming that the document is on its way to the signer for signature. From here, you may also view envelope details, send another envelope, save as template or go home. In this video, we familiarized ourselves with the basic template creation process and learned how to send an envelope using Nintex AssureSign.